Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Heather and today we are going to be trying out some viral makeup trends. One trend in particular that I'm trying today is one that I saw on TikTok. Um, I'm sure it's been around way longer and many people have been doing something like this for a while but that's the first place I saw it and I actually tried it out on my TikTok a few weeks ago so if you're interested go check that out. But anyway, the trend I'm talking about is where you apply your foundation in a different order than you normally would. So if this sounds like something you would be interested in, please keep on watching and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is grab my face cream. The one I'm going to be using is this It Cosmetics. It is the Confidence in a Cream. I have been using this for quite a while now. This is like my second or third one. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to put this all over my face. I'm just going to blend that in. Now, if you guys want to see more of like my skincare routine, things like that, um, I'd be happy to post like some kind of a skincare routine as well. Okay, now that we let that cream set in for just a couple minutes, I'm gonna grab my powder. So I've got um, the Fit Me Maybelline powder. And this one is in the shade Fair. No surprise there. And I'm just gonna tap some out in the cap. I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush and just pat that all over my face. So I first saw this on TikTok and I had heard of people obviously like, you know, there's some people that like contour before foundation and things like that. Um, but I hadn't really seen anybody do this before. So I saw this like trending on TikTok and I tried it and I tried it with um, some different products that I'm using today. I use the same powder though. Um, but I use like a different primer and that was one of the things that I wanted to switch up when I tried this again. So it's supposed to give you like a, whoa, poke myself in the eye. It's supposed to give you like a flawless kind of coverage that's supposed to last all day and be like extra long wearing. So we shall see. Okay, so our next step is going to be a setting spray. Today, I'm gonna use the Morphe one. So this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. Okay. I really like this one because of the way that the mist is. Um, I mean, I don't find that it's like extremely different from a lot of other settings for you, but I like the mist on this one. It is very nice. Okay, now that that is 100% dry, we are going to go in with our primer. Today I'm gonna to be using this Becca First Light Priming Filter. Um, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Ooh, that's probably way too much. Let's see here. And then I'm just gonna massage that onto the face. If you end up trying this um, foundation routine, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Because the first time I tried it, I was a little skeptical at first. Um, like when I first put it on, as I was like applying it, I felt like it was applying, like my foundation was applying a little bit patchy with it. But then like as I worked um, my foundation in and like after I'd had it on for a little while and it like really settled into my skin After a few minutes, I started to feel like it was really looking good. So We'll see how today goes like I said um, when I tried this before I used a different primer I actually used this one the um, NYX the honeydew or yeah honeydew me up. Okay moving right along to foundation um, and I'm gonna be applying with my Real Technique sponge. I'm sorry, this one's dirty. I need to get another one. Anywho, um, I'm going to use one of my favorites. It is this Revlon Photo Candid Foundation. This is the older one, not the new one. So it's not the, I think the new one's like the dewy one or something. Anyway, this is the original one. I have it in two shades here because 
Neither of these are like my perfect matte shade. Um, but I found them at, I think it was Walmart for $2.79. So I grabbed a few when I found these. Um, this was like probably three months ago or something. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do is mix a little bit. I'm gonna put mostly, this is shade 130, which is the lighter one, ivory. And then I have 220 sand beige. That one's obviously a bit darker. Um, but this one's just a little pink for me because I like foundations like to have a little bit more of a golden-y yellow undertone for my skin. So ooh, that one's pretty dark. We're gonna make it work today. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of blend this on the back of my hand and then just put it on my face. How have you guys been holding up during this crazy time? It is definitely been a challenge for me. Um, but I can only imagine for like those people that are working in healthcare, or like our essential workers, I know this is a scary time. So um, I'm definitely thinking of all of you guys. Like it's just, I don't know. Um, if you guys have any tips of like things that you've been doing to keep sane, please drop them down below. I would love to hear. Um, one of the things that I have been doing that's helped me quite a bit is um, just making sure like I work out a few times a week. So trying to do like some Pilates or just like some like live workouts or things like that. Ooh, look at this. I don't know what's going on right here. That's weird. Oh, the rest of my face isn't patchy like that though. Don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. The foundation is on. It's so kind of a close up of it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup. I'm gonna put my concealer on and then just do probably like a neutral shadow look and stuff and then I will come back on here and we'll see how this is looking by then. Okay guys, I am back and I've got the rest of my makeup on. It's probably been about 20 minutes and I am still on the fence about this. I don't know. I've been thinking a lot about it as I'm putting my makeup on. I keep like looking in the mirror and I feel like for the most part it looks really good. I don't know. I am just having a little bit still of that like patchiness. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's like right around here. And I think, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe it could be the eye cream that I use, which I've never had issues with before, but it's been like a couple hours since I put that on because I put it on this morning, but maybe that's what's giving me some of that patchiness. I don't know. If you've tried this routine before, let me know in the comments down below and like let me know what products you use and stuff and if you had like similar issues with patchiness or whatever because I'm just I don't know I figured I would try different products this time and like maybe my result would be a little bit different but still kind of a little bit of just like patchiness last time I did it I don't think it was only around my eyes but it kind of was because it was like right in here so final thoughts I am not 100% sure but I do think that this look i mean it definitely lasts so i will say that um and i'll keep an eye on this throughout the day as i wear it and leave a note down in like the description box what i think um by the end of the day with as far as wear goes how like everything wore and like if this patchiness like got worse or better um well obviously it's probably not gonna get better but if it got worse or like kind of stayed the same and then um just as far as the rest of my face if like the foundation and products stay in place i will let you know that too down below um real quick in case you were wondering what i'm wearing i did a quick eye look i used the anastasia the soft glam palette used the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner with a couple dose of colors lip glosses I will link all of the products down below too. I, um, for mascara, I used the Tarte Maneater one. This baby, I like this a lot too. And then for my blush, I used this little Anastasia Trio that I have. For bronzer, I used my favorite Milani bronzer, no surprise there. Um, I think that's about it, but I'll link everything down below. Um, 
so I think I mean I think this looks pretty good like I would go out with this on no issues obviously I'm not because you know I'm a quarantine queen right now just like the rest of us stay tuned let me know if there's anything you would like to see in the future um, let me know if you like this kind of video where we're kind of testing out like a viral trend or um, new way to apply makeup so anyway, all right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like down below if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks guys. Bye.